Hello guys and welcome to another video on Remnant 2. In this video I'll be covering the area known as the Dark Conduit in the world of Nerud. Items acquired in this version of the Dark Conduit are mentioned in the description with timestamps so please check it out. Now here I have cleared most of the enemies in the area so it will be easier to showcase the items available. The first item available in the area is a random drop known as Point Focus String. This ring reduces initial spread and recoil by 35%. Going further into the dungeon, we'll find big cranes moving around some platforms and a group of enemies will ambush us. Along with that, there is another ring in this area known as Momentum Driver. Since I already had this ring, I got to 50 scraps for it. Properties of this ring are, after sprinting for 2 seconds, moment speed is increased by 15% and stagger level reduced by 1. Now let's focus on the big cranes that are lifting the platforms. To get our next item we need to jump on the platform. Now you can try this multiple times because even if we die here, we can just come back from the crystal and try again. We don't have to re-roll the entire adventure just for this. We have to make sure to jump in such a way that we have enough space to combat roll on the platform itself to avoid falling to death. Immediately after jumping, turn around and find another fixed platform to jump back. This is the area where we'll find the melee weapon known as Atom Splitter and I believe this weapon has quite a large range while attacking. Also the mod attached can fire waves that last up to 20 meters. The mod on this weapon is Fission Strike and to activate it we'll need to perform a Neutral Evade Strike. There's also trade point available in this area but spawn location may be different depending on the map generated for you. Next up is a relic, Crystal Heart, which can be obtained by fixing a loose fuse in this area. The fuse that we need looks like this and as you can see one of the fuse is pulled out. All we have to do is push it back and the lock door next to it will open. Fixing this fuse also activates the supply ship mission and I will have a detailed video about that mission soon. Inside this door we'll find the relic called Crystal Heart. On use, regenerate 100% of max health over 10 seconds, movement speed is reduced by 50% and incoming damage is reduced by 25%. Since the map and injections are generated different every time, now after rerolling the entire adventure for a few times, I found another event in the Dark Conduit which can be described as a flooding event. As you can see, the area is flooded and we'll find stairs in the next area after clearing these enemies. After reaching the top of the stairs, we'll find the door that was previously locked and will open as we approach it. Also, we'll find the console to activate the flooded room event. After activating the console, we have to go back down the stairs the way we came in and the big locked door will now be unlocked as we approach it. As soon as we enter this area, the flooding will start and we need to find the ladders and climb up before the water catches up to us. During this process, we can pick up three items in this area and we have to pick up all three because if we die here, this event will not trigger again and you will have to reroll the entire adventure. The first item available here is the subterfuge ring. Properties of this ring are, after killing an enemy, increase the cast speed of the next mod or skill by 35%. This lasts for 15 seconds or until consumed. Next item can be picked up by jumping on the opposite side into a small platform. We can pick up an amulet called Insulation Driver. While equipped and under the effect of Bulwark, gain 15% to all damage dealt and also gain haste. 
Final ring in the area can be obtained by climbing back up and jumping into the tilted platform in the front. From here climb the ladder on the right side and also it does not matter if we die after picking up the ring because we'll still have that in our inventory. Now this final ring is generating band which regenerates 3% of max health per second while the shield is active. So this was the second reroll for Dark Conduit. Let's reroll our adventure again to find other items in this dungeon. In this next variant of Dark Conduit, we'll find several locked doors with robot enemies inside them. And one of these doors has a ring called Access Coil. Now to open this door, we need to lower the aberration called WD109 to this location. Basically, any door in close proximity to WD109 will be unlocked automatically. I tried using Firestorm mod on this mini boss, but the displacer enhancement made this fight a lot more tricky than what it should be. As per our strategy, we'll lure him near the locked door with the ring. As you can see, the mini boss is not even here yet, and all the doors are unlocked. So I think activating the mini boss fight is enough to unlock all the robot doors. Killing this aberration will reward us with a mutator known as Transpose. Picking up ammo when equipped increases the range damage by 10% for 20 seconds. Now that the boss is down, we can go and pick up the excess coil ring. Activating a skill while this ring is equipped grants us a shield for 25% of max health but it cannot stack with itself and it will last for 10 seconds. Now one more event is the supply ship mission which is related to the loose fuse event but I have prepared a separate video for that and I will upload it soon after this one. So guys this is all the secret events and quest items that I found after rerolling the dark conduit so please let me know in the comments if i have missed any of these stuff so guys if you like the video please consider subscribing and as always thank you for watching and i will see you in the next video